James Williams is cooking lamb shanks in his kitchen. A couple of years ago, that would have been unthinkable. It was drugs, living in hostel, uh, renting out a room, hospitals, jail. It wasn't good, like, it wasn't good. 18 months ago, the Gundi Jamara Yorta Yorta Wiradjuri Gunai man moved into this one bedroom flat in Pasco Vale through the state government's Homelessness to a Home program. The program includes services like drug and alcohol counselling, mental health support and case management. It's um, kept me out of hospitals, it's kept me drug free, it's kept me employed. It's also allowed him to reconnect with his family. The proudest part of this is that James has actually I got, my, I got my son back. Housing groups say the program should be expanded. Instead, some are worried supports will be cut back from next month. In the midst of a housing crisis, it's no time to be cutting services for the most vulnerable people in our community. The program started in 2020 to transition about 2,000 people off Melbourne streets and into housing with extra support. You cannot expect someone who has been sleeping rough for many years to just move into a house and then that tenancy will be sustained. Michael Jovicic moved into this flat in St Kilda a couple of weeks ago after more than 15 years living on the streets with complex medical needs. Sometimes it could be months and months before I have something hot. Now he prepares meals for himself and his rescue dog, Artie. I love animals and the other side, he needs help, you know, so I like to help him. The state budget will be delivered on the 23rd of May. Margaret Paul, ABC News, Melbourne.